when it comes to Christmas, the food is the thing that people are most excited about, even more so than the presents, the lights, and the gorgeously decorated tree. A beautiful meal is an important part of Christmas. Serve a tasty, colorful, and festive dinner to bring holiday cheer into your home. We have everything you need, from sides to main dishes to desserts. Everyone will enjoy these simple meals. Hey people, welcome to our channel All Foodies. To make your Christmas more special, we will share with you the ultimate Christmas dinner. So make sure you stick with us till the end. A Christmas cake is the perfect start to Christmas dinner. So here we'll share you the best Christmas cake recipe. Get the oven ready at 160 degrees Celsius. Grease two round cake pans with a base diameter of 20 centimeters and line the bottoms and sides with baking paper. Follow the directions on the box to make the cake mixes with eggs, oil, and one and a half cups of water. Pour into pans that have been prepared. Bake for 45 to 50 minutes or until a skewer stuck in the middle comes out clean. Let them cool for 10 minutes in the pans before moving them to wire racks to cool completely. Get a bowl and put vanilla frosting in it. Mix until it's smooth. Chop up two very small chocolate bars. Level the tops of cakes with a large knife with serrated edges. Split the cakes in half across the mill. Put one cake layer on a platter to serve. Spread some of the frosting on top and smooth it out. Add a quarter of the marshmallows and a third of the almonds and chocolate bar pieces. Add another layer of cake to the top. Continue layering with frosting, marshmallows, almonds, and chopped chocolate bar, ending with a layer of cake. Spread the rest of the frosting on the top and sides of the cake and smooth it out. Put chocolate frosting from a cake mix package in a bowl that can go in the microwave. Cook in the microwave on high for 10 to 15 seconds or until the sauce is a little bit runny. Put the frosting in a plastic bag that you can close. Remove one small corner. Some of the frosting should be piped around the edge of the cake and some should be left to drip down the side. Add more frosting to the top of the cake and smooth it out with a palette knife. Cut the rest of the chocolate bars into big pieces with a sharp knife. Place the rest of the marshmallows and the candy cane on top of the cake. Chill for 20 minutes or until set. To serve, cut into wedges. The easy salad recipe will be the star of your Christmas meal. It is made with fresh Australian ingredients like mango, prawns, and avocado, and it is topped with a creamy sweet chili dressing. First and foremost, prepare the dressing. In a small jug, combine mayonnaise, the rind and juice of half a lemon, sweet chili sauce, and minced garlic. To taste, generously season with salt and pepper. In order to combine, whisk. Step 2. Cut a star out of watermelon measuring 2 cm. Make small balls out of the remaining rock melon and watermelon by using a melon baller to scoop them out. Put on a tray that has been lined with paper towels so that any excess moisture can be absorbed. Step 3. Put cubes of watermelon in the bottom of a glass serving bowl with a capacity of 4 liters. Add some lettuce, rock melon, and cucumbers to the top. Use half of the dressing to drizzle over the salad. Mango, prawns, and avocado should be placed on top. Step 4. Combine the chopped onion, rocket, and mint leaves in a bowl. Arrange atop the salad and serve. Insert a skewer made of bamboo through the center of the salad and then place a watermelon star on top. Finish by drizzling on any remaining dressing. Serve right away. Even though Christmas only happens once a year, you can eat Christmas snacks whenever you want. This cucumber sandwich Christmas trees will be the star of the snack table. Put the lemon peel and cream cheese in a small bowl. Mix until everything is well blended. Spread the filling on the bread. Use a cookie cutter in the shape of a Christmas tree that is 7.5 centimeters long to cut two trees from each slice. Most of the quake slices should be cut in half. Place whole slices in the middle of each tree, then slightly overlapped halves of slices on top. Put stars made of caviar, dill, and lemon rind on top. When it's time to plan Christmas dinner, the main dish and main course have to be the best. We will share with you the best Christmas main course. Roast Chicken with Grapefruit Working over a bowl to catch the juice, cut grapefruits into supremes by cutting away the peel, pith, and membranes. Squeeze the remaining skin and membranes into the bowl to get as much juice as possible. Set the oven temperature to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. In a small bowl, 
mix the salt and pepper together. Slide your fingers under the chicken breast and thigh skin to pull it away from the meat. Rub salt mixture under skin, inside cavity, and over skin. Put half of the Supremes and a few sprigs of parsley inside the chicken. Put the chicken on a rack in a baking dish or a cast iron skillet with the breast side up. Use kitchen twine to tie the legs together. Fold the tips of the wings back and tuck them under the chicken. Cut the bacon in half and lay it over the chicken breast in a herringbone pattern, overlapping as needed. Drizzle oil over any skin that isn't covered. Roast for 40 minutes in an oven that has been heated up. Pour grapefruit juice over chicken. Keep roasting for another 35 to 40 minutes or until a thermometer inserted into the thickest part of the thigh and breast reads 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Tent with aluminum foil and let sit for at least 15 minutes. Discard kitchen twine. Take the Supremes out of the chicken and set them aside. For the sauce, heat the cognac for a few seconds in a small stainless steel or copper, not nonstick, skillet over medium heat until the edges start to shimmer. Take off the heat. Use a long match or a lighter stick to start the fire carefully. Let burn for one minute. Add the roasted grapefruit supremes, broth, and half and half, and heat until everything is hot. Salt and pepper can be added to taste. Serve the chicken on a platter with the remaining fresh supremes or extra grapefruit wedges and parsley sprigs. Pour warm sauce over carved chicken. No matter how simple or fancy you like your desserts, this Christmas pavlova trifle is the perfect way to end a hearty Christmas dinner. To begin making the custard, put the milk and the cream into a medium-sized saucepan that is heavy. Bring to a simmer over medium heat and stir the mixture occasionally as it cooks. In the meantime, in a large bowl that is heat-proof, vigorously whisk together the egg yolks, sugar, and 12 teaspoons of the flaked sea salt for three minutes, or until the mixture is very pale and light. Cornstarch should be whisked into the egg mixture before adding the hot milk mixture in a slow, steady stream. Return mixture to a clean saucepan. Cook the custard over medium heat while whisking it constantly for about three minutes or until a few bubbles burst on the surface and it becomes thick and glossy. Take the pan off the heat and stir in the butter and vanilla until combined. Pour the custard into a shallow container after passing it through a sieve with a fine mesh. Immediately cover the surface of the custard with plastic wrap, pressing it firmly into place. Put in the refrigerator for two hours or until it has thickened and is cold. To make the macerated fruit, place the cherries, peaches, nectarines, lemon juice, and sugar in a bowl and toss until the fruit is evenly coated. Leave at room temperature for 30 minutes, giving it a toss every so often, until the juices start to form. Blend the raspberries in with the other ingredients carefully. Place a third of the cherry mixture in a glass serving dish that has a capacity of 12 cups or 3 lighters. Put one third of the custard on top, followed by one third of the whipped cream, and finish with one quarter of the meringues. Repeat with two thirds of the remaining meringues, the remaining cherry mixture, custard, and whipped cream. Put in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Serve the trifle after decorating it with the remaining meringues. All right, everyone, that's it for today. I hope you find it helpful. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you will never miss any updates. See you in the next one.